What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over Minecraft plugins. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Minecraft is one of my favorite games if you couldn't tell, but with my favorite games comes a lot of drawbacks. Mojang and Microsoft failed to implement critical features that most games would consider basic, such as anti-cheat systems or large queue systems for larger servers. With this need for more features in multiplayer space comes a demand that can't be quenched by this development team. Introducing Plugins Plugins are to Minecraft as extensions are to browsers. Third-party developers use these to write additional code and plug it into the server. As these do not modify the game itself, such as in the case of mods, they're more limited to what they can do. However, this also means that they only need to be installed on the server side. No modifications on your own game files are necessary to get them working. You can check out how to install Minecraft plugins onto your Apex server in the description below. So how do I use plugins? Every plugin is different, but they all function similarly. Most plugins use a mechanic called commands. Commands can be typed into the server console or the in-game chat. To find the commands list of the plugin you're using, you can check its CurseForge page or the developments page. For the sake of this, I'll be using the essentials as it's a very popular plugin. If you're going to type a command in, in the in-game chat, you need to type a slash before the command that you're putting in. It's also important to note that most commands have a heavy impact on gameplay, so they will likely require op permissions. If you're having trouble with any commands or figuring out what the commands are possible with the plugins, you can type help in the console or slash help in the in-game chat. Typically, a list of possible commands will be brought up, but depending on the plugin, you may have to type the name of the plugin after the help command. A list of commands will appear for that plugin. Depending on the plugin, making adjustments may require you to open the configuration files on your server panel manually. Don't worry though, it's not that hard. First, you're going to go into your main panel and stop your server. Then you're going to go to the left-hand side and click the Config Files tab once it's offline. Once that loads up, you're going to click the config.yml file corresponding to the plugin and make any changes you want. Then, you're going to restart your server. Plugins are a great way to spice up your server, and for most servers, they're now a necessity. In the same sense, though, they can be fairly complex, depending on how much reliance you place upon them. And there always can be issues. That'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.